Miller there to score his third of the campaign. He's been the only successful sniper up to this point for the Panthers in the competition. Took it well, didn't he? Absolute wonderland. This is a coolly taken goal. Zachary Phillips could have taken the shot himself. But instead, the pass was perfect to Dan Sprang, who went and did the rest. Period three, and the Panthers have a 3 0 lead. Josh Shallow with his second, four overall now. The brother of Arizona Coyotes, Brendan Pellini, Brett with the assist. Beautifully taken yet again. This man's going to be a big asset to them in the competition. Zachary Phillips on the button again to put the Panthers three to the good. Alexander Mokshansev finishing this move off. It also involved Jan Sorber. 4 1 Panthers fans. What were they thinking at this point? But to make the, the last goal of the night, and a notable night it was too for British ice hockey, a rare win at this level. Panthers 4 2 winners at Mountfield HK. No score at the end of 20 minutes. Past the halfway mark of the game into the second period. In the top scores jersey, the shot saved and loose eventually into the net. Josh Shalla it was who charged up the wing, eventually Jan Sauvé. 1-1 one, one after two. Into the third, Jeffrey Brown trying to chase the puck down for Nott again. Eventually it comes clean to David Clark. Clark's wrister past Yaroslav Pavelka in the mount field goal, restoring Nottingham's one goal advantage. Minute 17 seconds later, Nottingham again finding the puck free in the Mountfield zone. This time into the net from Evan Mosey. And could the double shock be on for the Panthers? And 3-3 it stayed after 60 minutes. But right from the opening faceoff in overtime, Sauvé risked the puck past Pavelka. Sauvé second of the night. Nottingham two key points in the CHL. Nottingham now the first British club with points in two CHL games in a single season. They defeat Mountfield by the score of 4-3. Beautiful stuff from the defenseman, pinching down. Don't mind the period at the top. It is the second period, and, well, the Panthers were able to get one in. Right before the two-minute mark of the second, Alexander Mokshansev makes it a one-goal lead only for SC Bern, and, well, the Panthers would continue their assault. They peppered Janoni's net in the second period. They were the aggressors, and they finished off the pretty pass. Guess who it is? It's Mokshansev again, the recipient of some fantastic team play. His team have knotted it up. And it didn't take all that long before the Panthers really found their stride. And by stride, I mean coast to coast. Jeffrey Brown, 41-03. The Nottingham Panthers have clawed back from a two-goal deficit. Three straight for them. They are in command on home ice. The solo effort caught Janoni off guard. And with 13 seconds to go, Robert Lahovic pokes it down the length of the ice to seal the deal for the Nottingham Panthers. The arena was electrified practically all night. They fought back from two goals down, and they are now in command of Group F. They take over Burns' spot, eight points to six. The head-to-head -head is tied, although not in the goal differential category. Regardless for them, the Nottingham Panthers have taken a huge step in their CHL fortunes, while Burn will have to fight back in the next game day. As I said, Fortunes changed. Nottingham looking to make the playoffs. They got off to the roaring start. It took us almost 40 minutes of hockey, but finally, Joshua Shala, 38-19 in, makes it a 1-0 lead for the home side. Under a minute later, 55 seconds to be precise, Alexander Mokshansev makes it a 2-0 lead. The patience says it all. He waits, waits, and then waits a little bit more, and he finds himself a whistle dead. No goal on the ice, and with eight seconds to go, perhaps a chance for some consolation, but nothing happening. The Nottingham Panthers escape with a victory on home ice. They have done the impossible. They are through to the Champions Hockey League playoffs, the first British team to do so.